Hello. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the sulfonation of benzene. Uh, sulfonation of benzene is one of the types of electrophilic aromatic substitution. Uh, and the reagent used is typically just uh, concentrated sulfuric acid, though uh, I'll talk about that in a moment. All of these electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions uh, often require the generation of some supercharged electrophile. So sulfuric acid, um, typically as an acid, you might expect the electrophile to be the proton. But in fact, the, the active electrophile is, is either... sulfur trioxide, or uh, perhaps even more likely, it, it's protonated, um, you know, it, it's, con it's conjugate acid, uh, which has a resonance structure that's, that's particularly uh, suggestive of what's going to happen here. positive charge on the sulfur and uh, remove that positive charge on oxygen. Um, and so because this is what the active electrophile is, some people will then use uh, sulfuric acid with uh, sulfur trioxide in it. And this is, this is what one would call fuming sulfuric acid. Um, fuming sulfuric acid is a, a saturated solution uh, of sulfur trioxide in, sulf uh, in uh, sulfuric acid. I'm actually not sure I want to say saturated, but it's a solution of sulfur trioxide in sulfuric acid. Uh, so, you know, it's really a, a powerful... Um, you know, source of the electrophile. Uh, though for some aromatic rings, you don't need the, the fuming because sulfuric acid is actually capable of dissociating uh, or, or um, um, disproportionating on its own. And so let's let's into. Uh, to here. It's like you don't want to draw chemical uh, equations. All right, here we go. So two sulfuric acids. Uh, let's draw, draw not resonance arrows. I want some equilibrium arrows. There we go. Uh, we'll react to, to form this HSO three plus cation plus the HSO4 minus anion uh, plus a molecule of water. And this is not going to format right without my uh, assistance, so just hang tight a moment. And if you want to see how that might work, uh, let's draw some sulfuric acid. Here's the structure of sulfuric acid. Uh, I need two of these. And so uh, the mechanism of this disproportionation actually starts with one molecule of sulfuric acid protonating another. And we get an acid-base reaction between uh, two molecules of sulfuric acid. This generates the, the hydrogen sulfate anion and generates a protonated sulfuric acid uh, that looks like it might be ready to do something that we have seen other protonated oxygen species do, uh, and that is undergo loss of leaving group, which will then generate the active electrophile. 
if you're using fuming sulfuric acid, then uh, the sulfur trioxide present in the reaction can be protonated directly. Grab all. Well, I don't have room over there on the side, so let's make it down here. Water. And here's my sulfur, protonated sulfur trioxide. So now this thing is my active electrophile, and let's draw the mechanism of its reaction with benzene. Uh, I actually want to go up here and, um, you know, no, I want to use this one. I don't want the box though. Let's see. This one, um, I do want to flip it around so that the positive charge is facing the benzene. So this thing, uh, the, the benzene ring attacks this. So this is actually a nucleophilic attack on, on the sulfur. Um, let's see, let's get my, hi, well, let's see, let's get my hydrogen here, get the positive charge for my carbocation here. Um, in the video on the generic mechanism, I, I showed the, the resonance stability or the resonance uh, yeah, the resonance stability of this carbocation, and we're going to see it again on the videos uh, on the substituted one. So I'm not going to draw all of the resonance structures here. But we also know that because aromatic rings want, to, you know, ar the aromaticity wants to reform, that this reaction is going to proceed with through proton transfer. Uh, something's going to take this proton. And its electrons are going. The electrons in the carbon-hydrogen bond are going to be used to regenerate the carbon-carbon pi bond and regenerate the aromatic ring. And so we need to use something in our reaction mixture that's basic. And in fact, honestly, the strongest base present in the reaction mixture is water. So let's use water. And there we go. And so here is generally the reaction uh, and mechanism for sulfonation of benzene. In the next video, I'm going to talk to you about how this reaction is actually reversible. It can undergo a different electrophilic aromatic substitution uh, and be reversed. Uh, but before I do that, I actually want to share uh, that there's a very there are a couple of variations though in this reaction that actually that work out pretty well under the right sorts of circumstances, instead of using uh, sulfuric acid, you can use some things that are already sulfonic acids. And you can get um, these sulfones as, as products. And uh, truly horrifying there's a reagent out there called chlorosulfonic acid, which uh, reacts with water to form hydrochloric and sulfuric acids, and it's just pretty terrifying. But despite the fact that we know chlorine's a good leaving group, in fact, this reagent will react with benzene to form sulfonyl chlorides. Um, so if you've ever wondered, for example, how that toluene sulfonyl chloride reagent that we've used to activate alcohols into better leaving groups gets synthesized, here's the reaction. Thank you for watching.